Okay, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a notes page that can um, generate things that are equal to other things in terms of trig functions. So what I'm talking about is, uh, as you do problems, it will be useful to know that you know the sine of pi over five is equal to the sine of four pi over five. So this is a thing that we do a lot in trig. We like convert from one thing to another thing and then uh, you know you might need to show that the sine of pi over five equals, I don't know, that equals the negative sine of six pi over five. So there's a lot of these, and you can also change from sines to cosines. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a page, and it's going to show you all the things that it's equal to. So if you're a teacher, this is really useful when you're making problems. If you're a student, this is really useful for uh, checking the problems that your teacher has made for you, or making your own problems. So what we're gonna do, is create a notes page. So doc four, and I'm gonna insert a notes page. Okay, that's not a notes page. Uh, what did I pick? Doc four, oh, I think I, I put in data quest instead. Uh, okay, notes. All right, so what I wanna do is first, I need to uh, store a value, but I wanna store it in a way that it can actually uh, update when I change things. So to do that in a notes page, what you wanna do is insert a math box. So for me, I can use a shortcut, Command M. There's probably a shortcut on the handheld too. I don't know it offhand. Um, so I'm gonna insert a math box. And in this math box, I'm gonna type the thing that I want to convert to other things. So I'm just gonna type, it doesn't really matter what you type at this point. I'm gonna type uh, pi over nine. And then I want to store this as something. So I'm gonna hit control and then the var key. And then uh, I'm just gonna store it as A and I'll press enter um, and it does this. So now sine of pi over nine is stored as A. And I can actually just go up here and if I change this to like two pi over nine, uh, it auto updates. So that's really good, that's what I want to happen. And I'm gonna go back and change the way some of this looks at the end, um, but I'm gonna start with this and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out all the angles between zero and two pi where the sine of the angle is equal to the sine of two pi over nine, or really just this whatever a is equal to. So to do that, I'm gonna say, so I'm actually gonna type this. So, uh, whoops, nope, I just want equals. So equals, ugh, what am I doing? Okay, equals, and then uh, sine of x. So I'm just typing that. Um, you could, I guess you could use, let's see, equals trig sine of x. Okay, and then I'm gonna type four and put a space. And now what I'm gonna do is, uh, this is kind of the magic part. I'm gonna put in another math box. So for me, that's command M, um, or you can do menu, insert math box, or the shortcut, whatever it is on the uh, handheld. So I'm going to use solve. So everything that's available on a calculator is available here. You just have to find it. So it's in calculations, algebra, and I want to solve. So solve, I'm gonna say A, which is what I stored up here. So A is equal to, and then uh, just sine of X, and then comma X. And then what I wanna do is I only wanna find the ones between zero and two pi. So I'm gonna do control equals, and get such that, uh, zero, control equals, less than or equal to x, control equals, less than or equal to two pi. And I'm gonna press enter and it's gonna immediately evaluate that. So it gives me this, which is, uh, it's not looking the way that I want it to, but I'm gonna change it in the end. So this is okay so far. And now what I'll do is, I'm just gonna go through, I'm gonna do equals uh, the negative of the sine of x, or I could uh, use the use this again I keep forgetting I could do that. If I just like type sine of x, it, cre it actually creates a math box for me. I want that negative sine of x. And then I'm gonna get out of the math box and type four, and I'm gonna do another math box. And basically the same thing, so solve, and then a equals the negative of the sine of x, x, and such that zero less than or equal to x, less than or equal to two pi, it's faster for you to use control equals and pick it from the uh, the menu there. And I'm gonna press e enter and it's gonna evaluate it again. And again, I'm gonna change that in a second. And 
let's say it equals the cosine of x. Oh, let me, I don't know why I'm doing this in the video, but uh, I'm gonna use cosine of x, put it in a math box, get out of the math box, four, and then I need to solve. So another math box and solve a equals cosine of x, solve that for x such that, so it's important to do the such that part, um, make sure you're doing it outside of the parentheses of the solve because that'll limit it and you don't get like a generalization. I don't know, maybe you want a generalization, but while you're in the math box, make sure you hit enter and then delete this math box um, equals, finally it'll be the negative of the, so what am I doing? Okay, uh, negative of the cosine of x. I could have just like made a math box there. And then four, and now I need to solve one more time. Solve a equals negative cosine of x comma x outside of the parentheses for solve, but still in the math box, such that zero less than or equal to x, less than or equal to two pi. So it might uh, take you a little while to type all this in. And right now it looks kind of messy. I'm gonna hit enter. Um, okay, so this is, it's not looking great, but it's telling me what I wanna know, right? So the sine of two pi over nine is equal to uh, the negative cosine of 13 pi over 18, for example. So uh, that's what I wanted to know. All right, so now let's make it look better. So what you can do is when you're in a math box, if you press, uh, I think it's just meant, uh, let me see. Okay, no, uh, well maybe, hold on. Let's see, format? Nope, math box options, math box attributes. Okay, yeah, this is I think what I want. So I actually only wanna see the input for this one, so I'm gonna hide the output and press okay. And then when I get out of this math box, instead of seeing all of this, it should just show me that. So you can see when I'm in the math box, I see everything. But when I get out of it, it just shows the input there. So if you can guess what I want for the next one, I don't wanna see this whole solve thing. I actually just wanna see the output. So. I have my cursor in the math box. I probably should have done this as I went, but I didn't. So I'm in the math box. I'm gonna to go to math box, options, attributes, and I just wanna see the output this time. So I'm gonna hide the input and press okay. And then when I get out of this math box, it's gone and it looks a lot cleaner. And I'm gonna keep doing that. So I'm in the math box, go menu, five, enter. I just want the output. And then let's go to this one. Wait, I just want the, it's only showing me the input. I must pick the wrong thing. Menu, five, enter. Oh yeah, hide the input. Okay, so there we go. And let's do it again. Menu, five, enter. Just show me the output, so hide the input. I think that's what's confusing me. Uh, get out of this box, and then again, menu, five, Enter, hide the input. Okay, press okay, and there we go. So if you stay uh, kind of in the left-hand column here, you can scroll pretty quickly. So this is really nice because it auto updates. So if I change this to, uh, let me delete, 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 delete. Let's say that I want to deal with the cosine of uh, three pi over 35, I don't know why, press enter, it gives you all of these values. And as long as you stay uh, on the left-hand side, you can scroll through them pretty quickly. So the cosine of three pi over five is equal to the sine of 27 pi over 20, nope, can't even read that. The cosine of three pi over five is equal to the sine of 29 pi over 70 and the sine of 41 pi over 70. It's equal to the negative of the sine of 99 pi over 70 and so on. And you can just scroll through so it's really useful because when you're first learning this, it's kind of hard to go back and forth. Um, after you learn it, you might want to make your own problems. This will allow you to check them. Sometimes when you're creating uh, problems with like trig formulas, you want to like substitute one thing with another thing to just kind of make it look different. So this is something that I use all the time when I'm doing that. So what I recommend is that you save it. So if you press Control S, I don't know where this is going to try to save. Um, okay, you want to save it in my documents. Just call it, uh, I don't know, well, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call it trig equals. So trig things that equal things. So trig equals and press save. Now, anytime I need to use this, I just go into 
my documents. So I go home. Uh, I guess it's actually called browse now. They've like changed the name uh, here. And it's just there. It's right in, uh, in my, whatever this is, my browsing, my documents is what it used to be called. Uh, okay, so I can open it up. I can use it. Uh, and that's about it. So I hope you found this helpful and maybe interesting. Uh, and good luck.